Jonathan Carl. Well, thank you for being here first briefing. Great to see you. Thank you. Um, before I get to a policy question, just a question about the nature of your job. Yeah. Is it your intention to always tell the truth from that podium, and will you pledge never to knowingly say something that is not factual? It is. It's an honor to do this, and uh, yes, I believe that we have to be honest with the American people. I think sometimes we can disagree with the facts. There are certain things that um, we may miss, we may not fully understand when we come out, but our intention is never to lie to you, Jonathan. Um, our job is to make sure that sometimes, and you're in the same boat. I mean, there are times when you guys tweet something out or write a story and you publish a correction. That doesn't mean that you were intentionally trying to deceive readers and the American people, does it? And I think we should be afforded the same opportunity. There are times when we believe something to be true or we get something from an agency uh, or we act in haste because the information available wasn't complete, but our desire to communicate with the American people and make sure that you have the most complete story at the time. And so we do it. But again, I, I think that when you look net net, um, we, we're going to do our best every time we can. I'm going to come out here and tell you the facts as I know them. And if we make a mistake, I'll do our best to correct it. Uh, but I, I don't, I think that it's, a, it's, as I mentioned the other day, it, it is a two-way street. There are many mistakes that the media makes all the time. They, they misreport something, they don't report something, they get a fact wrong. I don't think that's always an, you know, to, to turn around and say, okay, you were intentionally lying. I think we all go try to do our best job and do it with a degree of integrity that, that are in our respective industries. Do you have any corrections that you would like to make or clarifications of what you sure. said Sure, I mean, we, well, ask away, Jonathan. Well, you know, for, I mean, just for instance, I don't want to get into relitigate the whole issue, but like, just take one, like the issue of metro ridership. You made a statement about we did, metro and at the time, uh, the information that was provided by the inaugural committee came from an outside agency that we reported on. And I think, knowing what we know now, we can tell that Ramada's numbers are different. Um, but we were trying to provide numbers that we had been provided. Uh, that wasn't like we made them up out of thin air. And do you stand by your statement that that was the most watched inaugural I think, address? In sure. Time? It was the most watched inaugural. When you look at, look, you look at just the one network alone got 16.9 million people online. Another couple of the networks, there were tens of million people that watched that online. Never mind the, the, the audience that was here, 31 million people watched it on television. Combine that with the tens of millions of people that watched it online on a device. There's, it's unquestionable. I don't, I don't, and I don't see any numbers that, that dispute that. When you add up attendance, viewership, or total audience in terms of tablets, phones, uh, on television, I'd love to see any information that proves, proves that otherwise. And, and then so other, do, yeah. do, do you dispute that? Well, I, I don't want to get into, into numbers. I, I, well, I, I do. Okay. I mean, okay. I'm just saying if you're asking me a question about my integrity, I have a right to say if you add up the, the network streaming numbers, Facebook, YouTube, all of the various live streamings that, that we have information on so far, I don't think there's any question. It was that, that it was the largest watched inauguration ever. More than Ronald Reagan's in 1981. I'm pretty sure that Reagan didn't have YouTube, Facebook, I, or the internet. Yeah, I think 41 million people watched his. 41 million watched his, okay? So let's just take the Nielsen ratings, which are 31 million, and add it to CNN, 16.9 million. That's a little higher. So I'm just saying, I'm not, you're asking me for numbers, there's just two entities together. And, and, and the, the, the approach that you took on Saturday, any, any second thoughts on look, that? Look, I think, we're gonna, Jonathan, look, I, I, I want this to, huh? You know. I came out to read a statement, and I did it. We're here today, I'm gonna stay here as long as you want. So uh, I want to make sure that we, 